Today I'm bringing you a public service announcement. I know that we all have opinions and we feel entitled to share them and we use uh, freedom of speech as an excuse to put them out there. Free speech is not a license to be an asshole. You might think it's just a funny, quippy, offhanded comment, but you could be doing lasting damage on someone. You are accountable for the things you say and do. More and more these days, people are so critical of each other, particularly online, where they feel removed from their actions by the the safety of being anonymous on the internet. When people, particularly vulnerable people, are constantly berated with a barrage of insults and they're belittled and whether it be, you know, through social media, online, whether it be in person. When they're picked on and critiqued and just made to feel like less than human, it dampens their spirit and could do lasting damage. And I don't think that most people would want to be responsible for that. So we do need to be mindful of our actions. We need to be mindful of what we're putting out there. Freedom of speech doesn't mean every shitty thought you have is something you should share. You should keep some of that stuff in la cabeza. You don't need to, you know, there needs to be a filter between your brain and your fingers or your keyboard or your mouth. And in addition to genuine online bullying, there is a lot of just people being critical and just nitpicking one another. Uh, in a way that I really have never seen before in my 30 years of life. I've never seen... Uh, people have always been a little judgy or a little gossipy, but it has reached a fever pitch. And people just feel so entitled to share their shitty opinion and they wrap it up in this bubble of, it's free speech, it's just my opinion. But part of free speech is being responsible for the things that you say and being held accountable for your words. And I don't think a lot of people see what they're doing as bullying. I just have to ask, are you going to burst into flames if you don't share that opinion? Are you going to literally die if you don't tell someone that they're ugly or they're fat or they're skinny or you don't like their hair or they make bad choices that you don't think that they should be doing? You don't like their lifestyle? No? Then keep it to yourself. And for that 1% of you who genuinely get off on being a jerk, and maybe it's even more than 1%, let's be honest, human nature, we are not perfect beings and people have gone through stuff in their life that leads them to be a bad person. So let's even assume that maybe there's five to 10% of people who just really get off on being a dick. You need to reevaluate your life that causing other people pain causes you joy. What kind of sick sadist are you that you enjoy bullying someone? Oh, you've got problems, honey. But you know, that's just my opinion. Paid for by the Don't Be a Dick Council of America.